Hello, my name is Jerry Cherry. In my modes part one video, I showed you how to play all seven major scale modes in the key of C in one position. In this video, modes part two, I'll show you how to play all seven major scale modes in the key of C in seven positions. Remember, this method works in every key. If you didn't see my modes part one video, I highly recommend watching it. There's a link in my description. This is a three-part video series that ties all the modes together. Stay tuned to the end of this video because I'll be giving you a little bonus preview of what modes part three will be all about. Playing modes in parallel. That is a real game changer. Starting on the one chord, we have the C major scale and the chord's gonna be a C major nine chord. Fun, huh? <laughs> okay. So we got, see, we got the major second, major third, fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth, major seventh, the root, second again, major third, fourth, fifth, major sixth. happy sounding it's major okay so it's all the C major scale okay now we're gonna go to the two chord and um, it's a Dorian and we're gonna play um, a D minor 9 chord okay so the, the root D we have a major second minor third perfect fourth perfect fifth major six Minor seventh, the root, major third, I mean the major second, minor third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth. And that's what really gives the Dorian its sound. It's it's the minor third and the major six. That sound, you kind of know that it's Dorian. It's kind of a sad minor sound, but it's slightly uplifting because of the major six. My mission on this channel is to help guitar players improve their playing and take the necessary steps to become successful. If you're enjoying this video, please tap the like button, hammer on the subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications. Thank you. I also have a free PDF download outlining this entire lesson in my description. Please check that out. For the three chord, we have the Phrygian mode. And for that mode, we're gonna play a E minor seven flat nine chord. Let's play the mode in its intervals. We have the root, E. We have a minor second. We have a minor third. Perfect fourth. Perfect fifth. Minor sixth. Minor seventh. The octave. Minor second, again. Minor third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, minor sixth. That's what gives it this sound, is the, the flat two. People say it has a Spanish type of feel to it. Moving on to the fourth mode, Lydian. We're going to use a, um, it's F, Lydian. So we're going to use, like the C, we're going to use a um, F major seven chord. Okay. Let's play the intervals. 
We have a the root F, then we have a major second, major third, sharp four. And that's what gives Lydian its real flavor is that sharp four. We have the perfect fifth, major sixth, major seventh, octave, major second, major third. Here's the sharp four again, the fifth, and the sixth. So let's go to the um, the fifth mode and the fifth chord. So here we go, we got the G7, we're gonna add the nine here too, just to add some extra color to it. Okay, so we'll loop a G7 add nine chord. And we'll play the intervals. We have the root, G, we have the major second, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, Major six, dominant seventh. That's what gives it the, f the feel of this mode. Is the major third and the dominant seventh. The octave, major second, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major six. So next, we're gonna move into the sixth chord, the sixth chord of the key. <clears throat> and it's gonna be it's gonna be an A minor seven add nine. So let's listen to the intervals here. We have a major second, minor third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, minor six, minor seventh, the octave, Major second, the major minor third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, minor sixth. It's beautiful sounding. It's very sad minor. It's a natural minor. So last but not least, we have the seven chord, and it's the Locrian mode, and um, we're gonna use a, a B minor seven flat five chord. Let's play the, the intervals to this one. It's really odd. So we have the, the root, we have the minor second, minor third, Flat five, minor six, minor seventh, the root, the minor second, minor third, perfect fourth, flat five, minor six. I mean, it's the weirdest fingering. <laughs> when I learned this, I was 17 years old. And I just had the hardest time trying to play these like this. Especially switching these fingers like that, it's so odd. And all you really have to do is kind of... We just played all seven modes of the major scale. Let me know in the comments section what mode you like the best. Okay, here's the bonus that I promised you from the beginning of the video. It's playing the modes in parallel. Now, what we're gonna do is, we just learned all the chords of all the modes of the major scale, and we learned the modes that go along with them, or vice versa. So, we started off with the C, right? And we played C Ionian. And then we moved over to the D, and we played D Dorian with the D minor 9 chord. So what we're going to do is we're going to play, instead of D, we're going to play this C 
minor nine chord. We're gonna play C Dorian. Okay, so let's loop this chord. to, um, I'll just play like a, a power chord here. And I'm going to play the C Ionian, and I'm going to play the C Dorian. Now C Dorian. to see. See, this is all over C now. So we're really switching keys at this time. But it's really adding, you can hear the real, the real differences between these modes, between C Ionian I see Lydian. Okay. See, let's go to C Aeolian. Remember the positions. We played A Aeolian. We're going to play C Aeolian. Mixolydian. Remember the dominant seventh? Back to C, Lydia. Sharp four. Okay. So you get the idea of how beautiful it sounds to switch the modes in a parallel way instead of diatonic. So that's really, you're, you're really starting to make music there. Um, you can come up with your own combinations of what sounds great and you could really come up with some amazing stuff. So, uh, yeah, groove. <laughs> Thank you so much for your interest in this lesson. If you found this video helpful, please tap the like button, hammer on the subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications. Thank you. I also have a free PDF download outlining this entire lesson in the description below. So please check that out. I will see you in the next video. And remember, be cool, be kind, and be cherry. <laughs>